Okay guys, Mr. Ballion back, Alexi Ballion. I am going to continue with this model with a few more um, techniques actually to help you achieve the end and that is to model your own chibi character, okay? So we're going to work with that. Um, at this point I have my block here as you know in a simple block and um, again I can call, I can name this, control A just for a second here, Lambert, change that body body 01 okay so there it is and you can see uh, the transparency somewhat down okay so what can I do here one thing you guys got to keep in mind the most important thing in this modeling exercise is to keep everything four-sided as you can see here so for example um, what I can do right now is maybe elongate the base of it just bring that down a touch okay and what I'm gonna do is maybe yeah why not I'll add a cut I'm in polygons, make sure everybody's in polygons. Okay, mesh tools, insert edge loop right there. And I'll just pop one in here for a second. Okay, and I'm going to bring that down here for his waist. W to get out, or Q. Right, so I'm going to take uh, this face over here right now, and I'm going to use the extrude tool for a certain purpose. And watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to hold shift and select the other side as well. And I'm going to select extrude, but I'm not going to extrude out. However, I'm going to press R for scale, and I'm going to scale in. Okay, so you see what it just did? So I kind of use scale. Now, that's one way of doing it. However, that's not the, that's another method. So I'll repeat this one more time. I'm just going to go to face. Go to face, select, spin around, holding option, shift, select the other face. You can do one at a time, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to go to extrude. And this time, I'm actually going to click on one of these cubes and scale it myself from the center this is cool so what's happening here is I'm gonna bring the arm out okay and um, so just W to get out of that so you can see now what I've done is that I've, I've actually made um, cuts for um, the arm okay now of course you can scale that yourself right now if you think it's not okay the minute you scale it's like these are the things that are gonna happen which is kinda of cool that works too okay do you see what I've done there okay um, so there's a lot of things you can do with this tool. Again, I'm going to Command Z one more time, a few more times, and just do this. Uh, it's good to repeat this. So face, right click, face, boom. Hold Option, spin around, hold Shift, let go of Option, hold Shift. So we've got both sides selected. Again, if you're not comfortable with doing this on both sides, just do one side at a time, because the character is really extruding out at different angles, right? So here it is, extrude. But I'm not going to extrude. I'm going to click one of these cubes, and I'm going to go from the inside, just a touch like that. Okay, W to get out of the tool, and now I can go to extrude again, or in the future I'll just press G, and again, extrude from the blue axis. So there's that aspect of the arm. Okay, I'm going to click out here for a minute. I'm going to select this face right now, and press E to rotate. So this is kind of cool, and I'm going to press R to scale it in. See, like that. That's kind of nice, right? Okay, so you see what I'm doing, right? Ideally, um, you can do both sides. You can cut the, uh, the center of this character and do the same thing. So I'm going to repeat what I just showed you. Uh, go, to, go to face here. I'm going to go to extrude one more time. Boom. Click one of the cubes. So uh, Maya knows you're going to actually scale. And I'm going to click from inside. And guess what this is? This is actually for the neck, which is kind of nice, right? OK, and then W. And then extrude one more time. And this time I'll press G and the blue axis. And there's that. Nice. OK? That's nice. I'm happy with that. It's working. Okay. All right. So, a um, couple things we'll do here. And if this is too complicated, um, just watch this over and over. I know you guys are in high school and there's still a ways to go. I can do this many ways. And um, I'll watch this. I'm going to select this edge loop here double by double clicking and pressing W. And I'm going to bring this up so you can see that little angle is working nicely for me. Edge here press W and bring that out so you see we're getting an angle there I can bring the angle up a touch and so on okay so you can see this one here is kind of in too much so you bring that out this is very similar to pattern drafting and fashion okay so you can bring this out a touch so you can see here boom that kind of thing okay so another thing right now um, I'm working in the perspective view ideally Maya you should be in the front view right here space part it and again object mode and you can see here I can bring this character now I, I need to be on the center and what we'll do is we'll reduce 
that transparency so you can see better. Okay, so you can see we're off scale right now, but I'm just doing this uh, just for the simple reason that I want you to understand the process. Okay, so this to me right now, this whole thing. So if I go to vertex right now, I can come in here to select all these guys, press W, bring it up like that. See what I mean? I can come over here, grab this corner, bring it over like that, that kind of thing. Okay. So this is what I'd like you guys to do. I don't want to do every step for you, but this is pretty cool, I think. Look at that. You're, we're matching it, right? I'm taking the inseam there and coming over like that. Sometimes you need to go into your perspective view and um, kind of pick up some of the things you, you're you not seeing. For example, the inside seam there. You can see that. There you go. So I can bring that over like that. Isn't that cool? I can take this right now and bring it over like this. This one here is coming out like that, not bad, and so on and so on, okay? So you come over here in vertex mode and you just kind of line things up. That's what we're doing. Okay, we have uh, someone's calling. I better stop, pause for the cause. I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay, so we're back. Let me find my stylus. Here we go. Okay, so this is cool, right? Um, I'll leave it at this for now. I think this is good. And let's see. We'll look in here for a minute. You can see that the seam in here needs to be somewhere there. So here I have an issue, right? So I can right click again, vertex, and let's solve this. So you see how his shoulder is somewhere over there and so on. And I can bring this over a touch. Now I'm going to take this part here, the inseam, right about there. Cool. And then bring this over and like that. Now, one of the things we need to remember is you're ultimately doing this to print in a, on a 3D printer, right? So what I'm going to do is I'd like to um, keep things in a certain direction. We don't want to come out in this direction, okay? Do you see the X? Doesn't We need to build up. So we're trying to keep things on an angle. Even though your model looks like this, we may have to do other things. Okay, so at this point, this is cool. I'm just going to quickly go to object mode and add a cut in here for the belly and stuff. Okay, another thing I can do is actually insert a cut right down the center. And then, yeah, maybe I'll do that with you guys, okay? So there's a tool here which is really, really awesome. Where is it? It's one of these guys. What's this one here for a sec? Come on, light up. Uh, cut face tool, yeah. I'm going to double click this and I'm going to go to interactive, good. Uh, and close, and I'm just going to come down here. Why aren't we doing it? Here we go. So I just want to split somewhere around here. Okay, then I'll fix it afterward. That's okay that it's off center. Could I just use the insert edge loop as well? So W to come out, <coughs> and now I'm going to go right into perspective view. Okay, oops, sorry. Uh, my spacebar, my and perspective. Okay, what I want to do is open this up for uh, my f my the legs to come out, right? So what I'll do right now is I'm just going to right click, go to edge, and just center this over a touch, and bring it over, and I'm going to go to face, and I'm going to select both these faces, A and B, holding shift, and I'm going to go to extrude. Clearly we're not going to extrude, we're going to click on one of these boxes, and then scale in. Ooh, that was kind of interesting. Okay, command Z. See why that's not working here for a second. I'm going to change my transparency so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so let's look at this again. I'm going to command Z a few times because as soon as you press extrude, you've actually created a second surface. So we got to be careful with that. Face once, hold shift, and extrude. And I'm going to spin around, click on cube, and then from the center. Okay, no problem. Let me just do this here. Go in, click out, and... I'm going to go to edge mode for a second. And my right click, my stylus, edge, boom, click. There should be, oh, it didn't do it. Oh, I know why. Okay, so here's what's going on here. Okay, so this is an issue. I know what it is. Um, let's edit mesh. We had a setting here. I'm just going to come over here. And you'll see this in a second. Setting, time slider snapping, somewhere over here, settings. Animation, nope. Files, reference, modeling. Everything is a tool. Everything is an action. Nerves, convert component selection. There's something, there's a setting here I have to hold. Okay, so just give me a sec here. I'll be right back. Okay, cool. See you in a bit. Pause. 
Yeah, it's right here. Uh, keep faces together. That was the problem. Okay, so again, if you don't know where this is, so you have to go to your little runner, which is our settings, and we'll go to settings. Nope. Uh, let me see. Modeling. And where it says keep faces together, watch this, press save. And now watch what I'm going to do here. Command Z a few times. Okay, so click once, hold shift, boom, and we'll go to um, extrude. Again, click one of the cubes, and we're going to scale from the center. Awesome. That's what I wanted. Okay, otherwise you can do, do one at a time if you don't get what I'm just doing right here. Okay, and I'm going to press W right now and just slide these guys down a touch. And you can see I'm trying to make that seam. Okay, and then from here on in we can extrude out, for example. So I can hit extrude again, and then come out, and then I'll press R, and I'll scale these guys from the middle. Like that. Ooh, look at that. We have a tail growing. That's nice. Okay, so be careful. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Love it. No problem. Repeat the work, folks. Shift, shift. So it's good that you see uh, what you've selected. Spin around, nothing extra. All right, extrude one more time. You get where I'm going with this. Cube and the center. Good to go. And then I'll press W. I'll come down. And then G to extrude again. And out we go all the way down. Okay. I'd rather you guys come all out like this. And then add, press G again. And I'll just do the feet quickly. And then I'm going to click once here. Shift there. Spin around. And, oh, see, we got an extra face. It's good to have the transparency on, isn't it, folks? We can see what extra faces we have selected. Okay, let's do this and move on. G, and then out it goes, kind of thing like that. And then you'll come in and cut things and make it better. Okay, again, for this, um, like once here, spin around, boom. Um, these are clearly, each one needs to be tailored a bit more. So let's, let me, oh, how did that happen? Command Z, let's click this one, R. It's too wide here. Why is this happening? There we go. Better. You see what I mean? So that's more proportional of an arm, right? Okay, cool. Look at this one. Same issue. Proportional. Boom. Like that. Okay. So what I would do right now is I'd rather you guys go extrude at this point. All out. Like that. Okay. And then what I want to do is actually rotate this a touch. So I don't want to follow the exact method of what I'm doing there, W, because... In the 3D printer, we're unable to go that way. So we just have to have to bring him over a touch here. Okay, you get what I'm going with this. All right, guys, we're good to go. I'm going to leave it at this and come out. I think this is enough for you guys to work on your own. Remember, do not add too many details until after the fact, okay? I'll do another uh, tutorial. I'll add segments here, insert edge loop to work on the boots and so on. Okay, so here, why don't I just do one right now so you guys get what I'm doing. Okay, so you can look at this right now in profile and side view, vertex, so you see that that's not really going to happen. Take these guys over, slide it like that, that kind of thing. Okay, you can come over here, take this, bring it down, this one, bring it down, that kind of thing. Do you see what I mean? And then you can say, yeah, you know what, maybe, oops, and again, I'll select all three. Bring it in, down. This is where your other view um, kicks in. Your side view helps. Okay, bring this back like that. So we get the angle. So we'll add more segments in here to work on it. Okay, and then we'll take the front. You get what I'm doing here. Those are the only three. Nope, do it this way. Down and over. Kind of thing like that. Okay, and then we'll add another cut afterwards um, through the side here to keep everything eight-sided eventually. Okay, cool. I'm happy with this. I'm going to say ballion out for now, okay? Let me just bring the transparency back. Just so you know, um, I'm just, I'll just add a smooth for you guys, and you'll see where this mesh is going. And it's not perfect. We've got to add more cuts in here as my previous tutorials. So I'm going to leave it like this for now. I have to fix all of this, okay? It's all messed up. But that's okay. That's the fun of, whoa, oh, if that happens, just right-click, go to object mode, Right click vertex, boom, you can see the angles are a little off, right? So I can bring that back, that kind of thing. So here I don't have enough cuts, okay? So what I'll do is I'll bring, so this will all come together. Trust me on it, guys. This isn't going to be that bad. I'm going to select these guys over, see? And you'll see what I'll do eventually, okay? And we'll work it off the, the reference. So we'll be in the front view. If you don't know how to get to it from the... Um, Spacebar, just go to orthographic front, and then you go like that, transparency, 
sweet and you can start fixing things okay I'll fix it accordingly afterwards it's a little messed up here for sure good times okay guys bye for now Bellion out